Okay, in this video we're going to talk about how to get um, imaginary values out of your Inspire. So um, one of the things you'll run into, especially once you get to kind of quadratic formula or you know higher level things, um, you're going to try to take square roots of negatives. So maybe take square root of a negative 4. And you're going to get this error that pops up and it says non-real result. For example, if the software is in real setting, the square root of negative 1 is invalid to allow complex calculations to change the real or complex mode setting to rectangular or polar. So that's what we're going to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into, I like to press doc and then 7 for settings and then 2 for document settings. And then it said to change, so I hit tab to get down to here, it said to change this from real to rectangular or polar. You almost definitely want to change it to rectangular at this point if you're looking this up right now. Uh, so I'm going to rectangular, and I'm just going to press OK. I don't want to make it the default because I don't always want this to be true. But now that I've changed that, I can press, so I paste that down, I can press Enter, and I get 2i instead of getting a non-real result. I mean, the calculator knew it was a non-real result, um, but it didn't want to tell me what it was. But by changing it into um, from real to uh, rectangular, so it's, it's going to allow for complex solutions now, um, or values, I should say. So that's how we can do that. So uh, you can set it up to do the quadratic formula, for example, uh, whatever you need. So there's another issue that you're going to run into, and that's when sometimes you try to solve things. So uh, I'm going to do menu 3, 1, and x squared plus 4 equals 0 for x. So right now I'm in that complex. Uh, I set complex to rectangular. So you'd think this would give you answers, but it doesn't. But it turns out you can get complex solutions. It's just that you don't use the normal solve function. What you do is you press menu, and you go to algebra. And I usually press up to get to the bottom of the list. And I want complex. And in complex, there's another solve function. Press enter. You can see really the only difference um, in terms of uh, what it looks like is there's a C here. And the C stands for complex. So if I do C solve x squared plus 4 equals 0 comma x, press enter, I get 2i and negative 2i. So the solve function, this solve function, only wants to solve over the real numbers. Um, so no matter what mode you have your calculator in, it's going to say false if you try to solve that equation. Whereas if you change it into, or not change it, if you select the complex solve, it'll give you these values. So if I do another example, so it's menu 3, and I usually press up, Go to complex, go to solve, and let's do, I don't know, x squared uh, plus 5x plus 20 equals 0, comma, x. And there you go. It's giving you, so it gives you the com complex solutions that you would get. If you use quadratic formula, you would get those values. Uh, and that's about it. So I wanted to show you a couple of those things. I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.